How would my exes describe my relationship? So we met at a music video shoot. An event that I was promoting on set. It was a music video set. She was attracted to my body, his smile, his personality. To his body. I like his muscles. And I was attracted to her. My ass for sure. <laughs> to my butt and my spirituality. My smile. Who made the first move? Clay made the first move. Of course he made the first move. I don't make first moves. He did. I never make the first move. He walked up to me and he said, hey, Hey, we should get together and shoot some skits sometimes. And then he looked at my ass for a very, very long time. He came up to me asking to get him for free inside the clubs. I told him that's not possible though. He walked up to me and asked me if I had a boyfriend and I said no. Our first date was... He tried to take me to the beach, but I wanted to go to dinner. So we went to Mexicali. At an Italian restaurant, eight months after I met him. Chinese food. Our first kiss was... Actually outside of his grandma's house. <laughs> At our first date. The first day we met on set. So after we wrapped, like, it was, we were just talking and it just, it just happened. <laughs> She thought my best physical feature was his chest, his muscles, <laughs> his smile for sure. Although he thinks it's his abs. She thought my best personality trait was how funny he was. He has a really kind heart. He's very sociable and I like that about him. I thought she looked like a million bucks. Mila Kunis. <laughs> Shade. And she thought I looked like <laughs> I don't want to say this. I don't know. He doesn't look like nobody else. Maybe that's why I liked him. Okay, I'm just going to say it. Fuck it. <laughs> I don't think he looks like anyone. I call him sexual chocolate. <laughs> <laughs> we bonded the most over. Quality time, talk, and sex. Fitness, work. I would call her. Jam. Shoddy. Bay. And she would call me. Poppy. I would call him Bear, maybe. But Clavassier sounds good enough. <laughs> Muscle man. Our go-to date restaurant was... Olive Garden. He actually didn't really like to go to restaurants, so it's hard to say. All you can eat sushi. <laughs> Who paid on dates? Clay always tried to make me pay on dates, but I made him pay on the dates. Of course he did, but sometimes I went hot, but mostly him. He did. I introduced her to. Recording my entire life on Instagram. Hiking in Mother Nature for the first time ever and I'll forever be grateful for that. Sushi. And I still don't like it. And she introduced me to. Am I able to say this? Meditation and breathing. And I think he's grateful for that too. Um, I don't think I introduced him to anything. Kama Sutra. <laughs> Thank you. Holidays we spent together were. We actually spent every holiday together. We were together for about a year. Valentine's Day and Thanksgiving and Christmas. Halloween. On Valentine's Day, I got her. Chocolates and roses. He took me out to dinner and bought me flowers. We was not dating on Valentine's Day. We was only friends. He got something to his girlfriend at the time, so. <laughs> we loved to go dancing and go to the bar. Go out um, hiking to Runyon Canyon or go to the beach and jog. Love to go in social situations, hang out with a lot of people and have a blast. We like to dance too. Any hip hop song really. Hip hop and reggaeton. Hip hop and R&B. The best picture of us is. I actually deleted most of our pictures. My favorite restaurant is... Jamba Juice, probably. He likes those little acai bowls. <laughs> Anything that has seafood in it? I don't know. I know it's gonna sound terrible, but my favorite restaurant is Denny's. Childhood memories. She knows that I hate. When his waves are not in place. He's so obsessed with his hair. Mood swings. Anything dirty. He doesn't like any dirt anywhere. Yeah, no dirty girls. <laughs> I'm most afraid of... Getting fat. Not being booked. Losing. Uh, I don't like heights. <laughs> My favorite hobby is... Working out. Hiking, working out, and partying. Football. I like to go hiking. My favorite movie is... Crash. I don't know. I'm guilty. He doesn't really have a favorite movie, but he likes horror films. Friday. My favorite musician is... It's kind of hard to say because he plays what he thinks everybody else wants to hear. Maybe Kanye, Kanye West, that's how you say it. Huh. Kanye. <laughs> Drake. My favorite hip-hop artist is YG and R&B. I like to listen to Ty Dolla Sign. 
she knew that my favorite food was canned fruit and I hated it so much. Seafood, so that married perfectly with my love for sushi. I love sushi. I really do. I have it on my keychain. <laughs> sushi. My favorite food is seafood, hands down. My celebrity crush is. Wow, he had so many. Me. I don't know. Bernice Burgos and Cardi B. <laughs> I don't really know. Like, I can say, like, Zendaya. Something that always makes me happy is... When I call him. Is sex. <laughs> Winning. Other than food, I love my siblings. She knew that I love to travel too. To my home country, which is Italy. All over. He loves to travel. Ooh, he really wants to go over to Europe. I would like to go to Mexico. I've always wanted to buy a house. New car accessories. He always wanted to buy veneers, and he got those. I bought everything I've always wanted except for a house. My most cherished item is his car. I don't know. My high school championship football ring. She knew that I always dreamed that I would be a big star in a Colgate commercial. Be successful, famous. A successful actor. I always dreamed that I'd be on a TV somewhere. My mantra is make more money. He just always throws out positive affirmations. Hello. Hello. <laughs> Who takes longer to get ready? Clay takes longer to get ready than I do, for sure. He does. I'm really fast. I do. I would say the woman and all the relationships I've been in take longer to get ready. My greatest skill is... Working out. He is such a people person. I would say that my greatest skill is communication. I can, like, talk my way out of, like, anything. <laughs> Who is the better driver? I'm the better driver. He is. I don't drive. I'm scared. I'm Italian. <laughs> Me, duh. <laughs> Hands down, I'm a better driver. I drive military vehicles and convertibles. My biggest pet peeve is... He hates lazy people. My mood swings when he loses something. I hate when people are talking obnoxiously loud. It's so annoying. In the morning, I'm... Not that pretty. Horny. Uh, he has a lot of energy in the morning. It's annoying. Our sex life was... It was amazing. <laughs> ah! <laughs> it was good, because I was in it, so... <laughs> very spicy and very interesting. We communicated most often via texting for sure. Instagram, of course, Snapchat. My most used emoji is probably the tongue emoji. Blowing kisses and the eggplant. <laughs> <laughs> you know that little cute, that purple, um, purple thing? The yeah. She thought that my friends were really fun. Necessary. Just like him, little thoughts. And I thought that her friends were really hot. <laughs> Party girls. Awesome <laughs> friends. My parents thought she was absolutely amazing. His parents didn't even know about me. We never met each other's parents. I could be better at not looking at other girls in front of his girlfriend. <laughs> at texting. Relationships. Shit. <laughs> um, I could be better at reading body language. The best thing she ever did for me was... Interesting question. To uplift his soul. Help him get to his audition on time. I stopped him from eating canned fruit. And the best thing that I ever did for her was... He really, like, motivated me to get back on my workflow. Give me the walking again, because I got lazy here in L.A. He never did anything for me. Who's more likely to win in an argument? Me, because I have stamina. I will not back down. Libra! <laughs> What you mean? Of course. <laughs> Me again. I would win hands down. My worst habit was being really friendly with other girls that I know he found attractive. Not texting back, going ghost. Texting other girls. And her worst habit was retaliating and being friendly with hot guys. <laughs> Mood swings. I don't have bad habits. I'm a good girl. We dated for a year. Two months after eight months of friendship. About a year. He broke up because I was worried that he'd eventually cheat on me. He didn't have time. Because he couldn't keep his eggplant in his pants. I would always tell her that I was beautiful and that, you know, I could come over and see him whenever, but then he wouldn't answer the phone sometimes. How beautiful I am. That I was smart and funny. She hated my social media. Excessive confidence. Just little things that he would do that he thought was okay. And I hated her. Social media. My emotional side. How bossy I am. Were we in love? We were so in love. Almost, almost, but he ruined it. At some point. We always fought about the girls he was texting. Who was 
more right. Our intentions for things. I got over the breakup after. I don't know if he's actually over it. Maybe he's still not over it. <laughs> Probably a day. She got over the breakup after. I mean, I did the breaking up, so it was like the next day. <laughs> I was out at the club for sure. <laughs> Four months? Um, about three months. How did things end with us? Things ended on good but sad terms. Good because we intended to be friends still, but sad because we had to really change the dynamics of how we interacted with each other. He cheated on me. The first time I talked to him after the breakup was for this shit. <sighs> I think the best thing to come out of our relationship was our long lasting friendship. I just felt I grew as a person. The best thing that came out of this relationship was a friendship, but the friendship is gone now. So I don't know what is left. Are we still on good terms? We're definitely on good terms. We're cool. Maybe after today, I don't know. <laughs> Not right now though, no. She would say that she misses my. <laughs> His hugs, he gives really good bear hugs. His car. I miss his muscles. <laughs> and I would say I missed her. Personality. Cooking for sure. Everything. What do we date again? No. <laughs> no. No. Never. Nah. Nope. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Absolutely not. I think she would tell my current girlfriend. Don't worry about me. I'm lurking in the background, but I won't take him back. I promise. You in for a treat, <laughs> but he might switch on you. Maybe he changed. I don't know. He switched on me, so. He's a good guy. Just take your time and check his phone periodically. In a relationship, I'm looking for something short and fast. Just real quick. A committed relationship without putting the commitment in. Somebody he can get pregnant like right now, literally. Every woman that he dates, he's like, my future mother of my children. <laughs> I want to make my parents happy finally and have a kid. In a relationship, I'm looking for someone that's gonna be as going and hardworking as I am. 